Hello everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivorian Spice and welcome to the Catch Up Volume 45. Yes, it's another week, Manchester United, Hollis Manchester United fans. And welcome again to another episode, of course, guys. And of course, if you're new to the show, remember to subscribe, smash that like button. And also remember to share because sharing Ivorian Spice is caring. And if you're new to the show and you're running, what the hell is this and why am I logged into it? This is a show where we catch up, we talk about the hottest and latest debate surrounding our beloved team. We also reflect on the previous match that just happened and also we talk about the weekend wrap-up, including the match preview. And of course, this week, we have the match preview for the Europa League final, which Manchester United will be playing this Wednesday at 8 p.m. against Villarreal. Yes, guys. And to join us, I've got my co-host, Amuk, and of course, I've got Ems. Big up to the man there. Let me just see how they're doing. Ems, what are you saying, man? How's your weekend? How's it been? Oh, it's been all right. Obviously, the weather's just been trash, bro. I've got bipolar. One minute, rain, sun. Cold, wind, rain. That's like, <laughs> what's this? Where's the consistency? Moving like flipping, only gonna freestyle, blood. No, then we're there. <laughs> you know me? And of course, man, it's glad, it's, it's glad. I'm glad to hear you smiling, you know what I mean? Like, and you're happy. I know it's been a mad weekend. Amuk, my bro, how's your weekend been? How have you been in general? Life been good, you know. Been great, man. Obviously, that we came second. People will be excited over that. And then to see just what happened last day, just to watch football, see what happened. Beautiful, man. Nah, I it's hear that. It's just, just a shame that we didn't, I don't think we were that good enough. It's just the same thing over and over again. But big up to them young youth, though. Okay, no problem, no problem, man. I was glad to hear that, man. It's, of course, the weekend's been a bit shit. It's been raining all over the weekend. But, you know, Manchester United did grab a three points on the weekend, and we're here to talk about that, guys. Guys, as you are watching, also remember to get yourself actively involved and as well in the comments. But first of all, let's start off. Let's get into it, guys. You know, Manchester United beating Wolverhampton 2-1 on the final day of the Premier League season. Finishing second in the Premier League, you know, Manchester City winning the league, lifting their trophy, Man United finished second, third finishing Liverpool, and also fourth finishing Chelsea. Leicester sadly misses out in the Champions League position, finishing fifth, and Arsenal, <laughs> no European football for Arsenal this season. <laughs> But, I mean, for next season, but oh, we've got Tottenham that's ready. been in the third tier of the Europa Conference League. You know, the third tier of European football, guys, which is the Europa Conference League. If you win that, you go into the Europa League. You know, that's the rewards of it, guys. And I love it, you know. I love that we've got a third division. For those men like Arsenal, yeah, those teams like Arsenal that don't act great, they can play teams that from Kazakhstan, play teams that, you know what I mean? It's for competitions like them teams there, you know. But yes, let's get into it, guys. Manchester United won, Wolverhampton 2. Manchester United making a whole cell of changes, you know, bringing, bringing some youngsters. Ahmed got a chance to play. At young Anthony Alenga had a chance to play, scoring his first goal as the 19-year-old. You also got to see Hannibal come on, Mejri come on and make his debut, which I thought, Oli, again with your substitution, Bro, you could have put this man on on the 70th minute so you can have at least 20 minutes, bro. What is this nonsense like? Like, if you're going to bring the youngsters on, bring them on. We're already winning 2-1. And one thing that really pissed me off is that the fact they took Ahmed off and left that waste man, James James, that done nothing. Nothing about me. Six, 90 minutes of absolute nothing. That guy and his chance as well, Daniel James, says it all to me. This guy can't play in the Premier League. The one-on-one -on -one chance, and he decided to what? I don't know if he wanted to chip the goalkeeper or lob the goalkeeper with his left with his left foot, but he made the wrong decision. This is a player that's both footed as well. That's good enough, left foot and right foot. But yeah, he made the wrong decision. My oh my, Dan James, you shouldn't be playing for us next season, you know. 
I and if any one of you pussios that tell me sell Marshall before selling Dan James, you guys are the problems why we never improve our squad and we don't elevate. I always say this before. If you tell me we should sell Marshall before selling selling um Daniel James, it's like this. I'll give you a prime example. Let's say you've got a one bedroom house. In your living room, you've got an ultra HD TV, yeah. And in your bedroom where you're chewing that, you've got H high high definition TV, normal one, normal HD TV. And then you're like, you know what, yeah? Manny's a Sancho, many's a 4K TV, you know, just to elevate, you know. And 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 you buy a 4K TV, and guess what you do to that ultra HD that represents my show? You throw him out in a bed and you leave Daniel James the HD TV in your bedroom, and your your, your friend comes and says, What happened to your ultra HD TV? I threw it away. You're supposed to keep the ultra HD TV, ultra HD TV <laughs> in your bedroom and keep the 4K in your living room because that's what's called elevating. That's called getting better. But we want to keep our HD TV at home and throw away an ultra HD TV. That's the thing, bro. But yeah, guys, to the game, I thought performance wise, I'll be honest with you, I didn't think much of it. All I saw was saw Wolves on the ball, Wolves on the ball, Wolves on the ball, Wolves playing football. All I saw was Wolves playing football. Uh, 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 there was times we had our moments, but we got lucky we scored our goals. But throughout the whole second half, throughout the first minute, as soon as we scored the first goal, it was Wolves again. We scored a penalty, and then it was Wolves again. You know, that's all I saw. So people are out here saying, oh, yeah, it was good performance. It's nice to see that we was... Uh, no, I love the ball retention. There was something different. But all I saw was Wolves playing football. I'm going to go to you, Amok, and let me get your feelings on this match first before we dive into the whole team, the whole performance, including players. I think it was an average match. But like I said before, kudos to the young heat then. They came in and did the thing. Like, Alenga got his first goal. We will remember that forever. So I think it was a good thing for them to play. But like, I don't know if you listened to the message I said the other day. It's the integration. How you bring these players just the last day. We could have lost a match yesterday. Uh, 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 yesterday. Wolves was just unlucky. They didn't create much chance. But like they had the ball better than us. They did a few bits. We just had... Uh, uh, like you just mentioned, Ahmed. Why did he take Ahmed? Mm -hmm. Ahmed was the guy. He was literally the most entertaining person in the pitch first. And you took that person up. Like, it's upsetting, though. But at the end of the day, we can't really get upset to you because we've got the three points. But we need to do better. I was actually having an argument with a female on Snapchat this afternoon about football. He cheated him early. And I said, really? But it was a good game. Good three points. But we need to do better. The way we play is terrible. <laughs> they like the way we play. The way we play noise me. And what exactly you don't like about the way we play? It's like the system that the players get set up with, it's like we don't see consistency in the system. Right? We've seen other teams like Man City, Chelsea, in a period of time, they go system the way they play. We know that we got we, we know we are um contracting football team, right? But sometimes we play against teams that he's hard to break through. These teams he hard to break through. How do we score goals against teams he hard to break through? We don't score goals. We get penalties. We get lucky free kick. We got um, 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 Bruno. Like, I don't know if he's the manager, but there's always one person, one player in every season that helps Ali. Last season was Rashford. This isn't, it's, it's Bruno. Bull retention, you said you saw better. The better that saw it was from the young players. These are young players. Our big players don't do that on the pitch. And that's the system. I don't know what they do. And what upsets me as well the other day is, why are you resting McTominay and Fred and playing Matic? Like Mook, you need Mook thought this was a game for uh, Matt, I mean for um Fred and McTominay. That's what I thought. The way we played, maybe Fred and McTominay would have done better in terms of what they do. But we played terrible. It's really upsetting to see the way we've been playing. And 
We were just lucky. We were just lucky. I don't know why it is for the unbeaten, the, the playing away. I don't know why it is. Oh, you got that. But the way we play, I want to see improvement in the system that we play. I want to see not infinite football, but I want to see constructive football. I want to see how we play. Like, if we this team that pass from the back, or we this team that start the play from the middle, or we just play with society, he know what to do. Because that's all I see. Players, he just play with their own intelligence. Yes. And Ems, I want to get your take on this on a game yesterday, man. What did you think of yesterday's game, first of all? Okay, okay. Before we start, right, I need to show you something. Okay, <laughs> go uh, ahead. So, so this thing on Instagram, right? What? Why would they put this? Like, you see your neighbors. I'm beating away. Just wondered it, it, what? We've just, uh, we've just seen our we've just seen our neighbors <laughs> win the the, the 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 big the big honor, M. and then our, our, M. Our, M. Uh, we're M. celebrating That's this, isn't it? <laughs> That's why I got I got I got into an argument on Snapchat over that picture you just showed me. Like whoever that everyone's getting that, excited yeah. over that. It's, I know I saw the comments, I look at them, I was like, you know, I'm fool. But the fact of the matter is like, whoever whoever's the admin of Instagram needs to be sacked, bro. Oh, can, I, can, I, can I tell you something? The admin that that works on a social Instagram account is not a Manchester United fan, just to let you know. That's my night. I don't hire people that support the club. When it comes to making decisions on social media and upstairs, they don't they don't know nothing about football. But as you're saying, bro, continue. And then, sorry, there's another post. So I keep I'm wasting a bit of time. Yeah. <laughs> Men's names. Uh, nice, nah, cool. So, it's cool. So we got this one here. Why are you putting this up here? This year, yeah, this, yeah. <laughs> well, 2018, yeah. we finished what? Yeah. See, <laughs> FA Cup. Uh huh. FA Cup quarter final, champion quarter final. Oh, they're trying yeah. to, they're really trying to sell Oli, like trying to sell the progress, isn't it? They're trying to show. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know <laughs> this team, so where is the, the trophy? Where's the medal? Yeah, finishing, finishing third, FA Cup semi finals, Europa League semi final, Carabao semi finals. That, yeah, and then this season, finish Marino second. Mourinho won trophies. Mourinho won trophies. Why did you put this up? Oh, sir. What's it called? Uh, Moscow Premier League second, FA Cup quarter finals, Europa League final, Carabao semi finals. They're just really trying to sell this guy, Oli on social that he's supposed yeah. to be our manager. That's what I'm seeing. But yes, Em, exactly. as you were saying about the trophy. match, bro. Yes. So, for me personally, if they're going to post that garbage, they should have mm -hmm. waited to the Europa League final. And then if you won the Europa League, then post that. But instead, you want to post that now. Like, it's a, it's a joke. And back to the, to the game. Sorry. We didn't. We, to the game, do you know what? Yeah, I'm okay. I get you. Yeah, I think what you're saying is a frustration of the whole season. Yeah, but I, if I, if you put the rules game in isolation, yeah, I don't think the performance. I think that's probably you know this for the level that I've seen. That's probably like one of our one of our best performances. At, in terms of the level that I've seen, not like this is acceptable. Yeah, um, I thought Van der Beek and, Mat Mat and Matic was a good partnership. I thought. I thought they tried to keep the music in. Um, I thought Ahmad, I was impressed with Ahmad. He was very impressive. Um, but the thing is, uh, Ahmad as well, yeah. I know you want, we want ball pressing, ball pressing footballers, right? All these ball players that are, don't have, or all these players, players that don't, are not good on the ball position. Wamba Saka's not good on the ball. Matt, Matt Fred, they're not good on the ball. So what do you expect us to have uh, ball possession, Ahmad, come on? Do you know what I mean? It's, it's crazy. But, for me, uh, the young kids they impress me, but Alanga he needs to go to the gym, man. He gets knocked off too easy. I don't know if you, I don't know if you, I, I don't know if you, I don't know if you agree with me. And then, bro, let me tell you something. This man, if he don't leave my club next season, yeah, bro, it's a joke. Dan James is trash, blood. I know he gave a good cross, but he's, he's trash. trash. Cause, cause me, one, yeah, one up, one up, one up. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Cause, bro, you know what, yeah. When I'm at play, like, if I'm Ahmad, yeah, I'm kicking him, I'm kicking him up in the in the in the uh in the dressing room because bro, that pass to that was Iniesta, Xavi, De Bruyne, S, bro, that pass. That was yeah. a very good pass. Yeah. And then what why is my what is that? What is that, bro? We're not my playing like we're 4 0 up, bro. We're two one up, bro. That could have come back to battle. That's what I mean. We need ruthless players, and he's a child, you being childish. Do you know what I'm trying to say? But I think we need to move we need to move these players on, uh move these players on in it. But for me, we've got to give Oli credit because I always thought you don't trust his squad, but he used them. And then um, 
We won the game. Wolves played a full strength squad, but I think if Charlie really played from start to finish, it might have been a different story because I heard uh, I didn't I, I missed the first twenty minutes, but I heard Charlie was giving a few problems on the right hand side. But yeah, overall we got the three points. But then, but then someone said something to me. Yeah, can you imagine? Yeah, bro, this is meant to be uh, progress, but Liverpool only finished two points behind us, or was it three points? Three, uh, a couple. Oh yeah, no, four points. Yeah, four which points. is shocking because of what they've had and what they've gone through. I want to say, I mean, I mean, I I mean but I mean, yeah, yeah but, but but people be telling me, oh, but we finished second. That's that, that's what the argument be. The argument be, Liverpool had this and that, and then people will say, oh, but Liverpool should have gone to the January transfer. Window. But you can't, let you cannot prepare to have all these players are injured, bro. If we had that player, the players are injured, bro. I I I, I would dread to dread to feel where we be. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it is what it is. But now we got the points, and yeah, we move on to Wednesday. Now we move on, we move on, man. Let's talk about this Anthony Elenga, Ahmed and Hannibal, man, getting their debuts because I thought Ahmed did well. Elenga did well in terms of, like, what he done. But they are, they, you can yeah. see that he's still raw. You can kind of see that he's still got a lot to learn. But it was nice to see him get his goal. It was yeah. really nice. I was more impressed with um, um, Ahmed. But I wanted to see more of Hannibal because I saw him give a split. Hannibal, when he came on, he was one pass where he just ran with the ball charge and split the defence with an, a nice through ball to open things up for Daniel James to get onto the ball and obviously you know the rest you know the rest you know the rest Dan James did fuck all bro just messed it up and all that kind of stuff man. Yeah. what did you guys think of them, the youngsters that started man I'm going to start with you, you yeah, okay. yeah any one of you guys just let me know no, M, M go first um, like I said Elanga Langa, I don't know, man. Something tells me he's not ready for the first team, but he, he impressed me. <laughs> he needs to go to, he, he needs to bulk up. But obviously, that'll ha- that, that will happen in time. Um, Ahmad, Ahmad impressed me still. If he goes to the gym too, I think he could be one to watch. But this is what I'm thinking here. Yeah. If we got him, what, why would we go for Jaden Sancho? We bought him to play on the right as well. I don't know. But um, I, I, is, it Han- is it Hannibal? Hannibal? Hannibal, Hannibal, Hannibal Measury, yeah. Yeah, I sometimes uh, end up calling him Hannibal Lecter for some reason. I don't even know. <laughs> Hannibal, <laughs> Hannibal Lecter, yeah. Yeah, it's quite with, unusual, with, isn't it, to have a name like that? Yeah. With Han- with Hannibal, I just uh, I, I don't. I, he look he look neat and tidy, but what can you do in eight minutes or if six minutes? <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, and who's the other one that come on? I can't bloody remember. Who's the other um, one? um, Shola Shortari. Oh, what did Sh- he do? Uh, uh, I don't know, I didn't see anything, so I can't really give a judgment. But apparently we've got the young players coming through, so we'll see what happens. But the young players need proper proper senior pros for them to develop yeah. like, and have the main like, DNA. How can you grasp a good um, Premier League football for the first time in eight minutes, bruv? Like, that's just so that's one thing I don't like about a manager. It's just this just this lack of subs at the right time. There's late subs, it's gonna cost. And if you come with this nonsense in the final and you don't make subs as soon as possible when we need to make subs, is that no Oli? See, so makes you throw them on like last couple of minutes, like he did in the semi-finals in the Europa League against Seville, where he threw every the whole kitchen at the um Seville. And all that stuff, and and oh, talk yeah, about some, that and some minutes, stupid defect. Then and some the stupid. If he ends up manager, doing stuff like, hmm, manager is bro at winning he, the Europa League. He, he wins this Europa he, League. He's three times champion, so he cannot mess. He definitely. cannot mess up, man. Oh, another player that did well, I thought really impressed me was Donny Van der Beek on the ball, neat and tidy. Won us the penalty. Did well. For the whole 90 minutes, man. And and, and you know what? Sometimes I'm, I'm pissed off because I know that McFred will be playing on Wednesday. When you but, when you want someone like Donny playing with like whoever's gonna play in that the in that pivot, I just want some creative outlet like coming from that double pivot. And I just think uh Van der Beek done well, he can tackle, he can he gets you know what the fun thing about is that it's how I know that our man just shit. Because I see Van der Beek. Going in for tackles, intercepting, all sorts of stuff. He can play in the double pivot. He's not a number ten. Why do you think he's a number ten? Why do you think he's a number ten? Yeah, he can play in that position, but he can also play number six and eight. He's an Ajax don. Ajax man that probably knows how to play every single position because they've been taught how to play every single position. He played exceptionally well in that double pivot, making things tick. 
And that's what we need as well, alongside with Pogba and the team, alongside with Bruno. We need all of these players that can that that are, are, are creative, you know. And you, you're out here and you're, you play defensive people and we still concede goals. I don't, you know what? If it was conceding goals, I'd rather have a creative outlet in the midfield than, and then accept that we concede goals. It don't make no sense when we play two defensive players and we're still conceding goals. What do you guys think of Van der Beek's performance? I think Van der Beek me? impressed oh. me. I think he impressed me because now he don't have game time. So for, for me to see him play the whole 90 minutes, I think it was good. And there's something I like about the way he plays. He thinks before he takes, or, 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 or takes an action. Like, you know, he gets the ball. His movement is just too brilliant. And he hardly passed the ball, or gave the ball away. Like, or obviously, Bruno scored goals, but Bruno gave the ball away too much. I don't see that. It's just maybe the league, he needs to get fitting for the league I, I know what you said there about him Pogba we need to see all this creative mind which we love would love to see but the manager ain't gonna let that happen and it really upsets you out of fun. he like playing creative football to see someone like Van der Beek on the bench and McTominay and Fred got a start and then very most in, like, games put on games it's upsetting really upsetting but what can we do? Hamad, um, MJ said it. Why go splash money on, on, on Sandro if you go Ahmed? No, but the thing about it is that, is that I don't believe Ahmed is ready for first team football. Like, I don't think he is. And uh, it's good that we go in for Sancho because we need quality straight away. You know what? I rather have Sancho and then have uh, um, Ahmed Diallo there because you can play both lands. Because we need that quality. We just, I just want us to get rid of James, Daniel James, simple as. Then we'll I understand what I understand what you said. But my point of view is we say get rid of Daniel James. This get rid of one person, the team is good. Oli. <laughs> hey, and get rid of Daniel James. Of I don't think he's good. No, because the next manager that comes in, gonna see all his flaws. That's all his boy. All his, all his said. My man's got 68 percent passing accuracy. It, uh, I don't know where he saw that, or maybe in training yet. But when we're watching him play, he's poor. He's terrible. Yeah, he got that right yesterday. But it's upsetting. We see creative plays. If you get you know, the manager, then you see players like Ahmed getting opportunities. Players like Van der Beek getting opportunities. Mm -hmm. Fred will also play. But I'm sure among all these players I'm, I just mentioned, Fred McTominay would be the player that get less games on those really good men. Like, on the manager like Poch, Pope, Poch, even on, on the Chelsea manager. Fred will, uh, McTominay will get games, but less games. I hope we see so. how Man City play. We'll see yep. We see how Man City play. See how these other teams play. The more argument this afternoon to this um young um lady was. We are three, four steps behind Man City, Chelsea, Liverpool, and it upsets me as a fan to say we are three steps behind Chelsea because we saw what they did. Everyone say Liverpool. What about Chelsea? They got the Champions League final. Yes, for sure. That's definitely sure. Now, we where are, are we? We couldn't even we get well through the last 16. Where are we? Is this progression? Has it got According title? to some, it is. According to some, this is progression. We finished second. As as Ems just showed us the picture, they mentioned United are convinced we are progressing because they try to hype up the whole progression with Ollie so far with the pictures. Ems, man, I just wanted to get your take on what did you think of Van der Beek? Before I talk about his performance, I'd like to say, I, I believe, yeah, no manager, no no top coach would put Van der Beek on the bench at the expense of Matt Fred. I think that is a crime. I mm. can't see... I just can't, cannot see how these two are going to be starting in the final. And he's sitting on the bench. It upsets me. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but, but I think 
and and we're talking about ball possession. He's the he's, we've got one. We've got Mata. He has to play with Mata. I've seen the connection. Um, I like to say that uh, he had a good game. I thought he had a good game. He passed it. He lent it. He he moved. He found space. Like well, he's an intelligent footballer. He's, he's he's clever than my friend put together. Yes, foot IQ, blood. <laughs> Put together, so for me, trust me. And obviously, this Oli's contradicted himself as well because I remember him saying, "Oh yeah, he's gonna be involved. He's gonna play a lot of games this season." Blah blah blah. blah. That, think... that guy's a politician, bro. I don't listen to him, bro. So for me, I just feel like we've got a, uh, we've got, we've got um, what's the word? Next season, I, I demand, or I expect, Matt Fred not to be. Starting next season. If I see that, then bro, I'm going to have to time out, bro, because that's a joke. Uh, cool. Anyway, guys, um, of course, Mata did play, and we believe that this is his last game that he played for, for him. I'd like to wish Mata the best of luck, because I was hearing um, this Pussy Oli trying to say after the post match, saying, um, Oh, like, we could be trying to tag. I'm like, Yo, fam, are you all right? Let the man go, bro. He's done it. You see what I'm saying? You will never let us inform. Man's trying to say he could potentially get. No, let him go. Let him move on. I'm mean, going to say. In mm-hmm. contrast to what you just said, when they asked about Aguero, do you know what he said? Mm-hmm. He could never replace this player. Mm-hmm. And guess what? Yeah, there's one thing about Pep I don't like is that he's, he's capping when it comes to Aguero because he's the reason why Aguero hardly played for Man City at times, you know. And I, I read I read reports um, of him coming out saying that Pep didn't speak to him for a couple of, for a lot for a while, you know, a lot for is like it, two or three it's weeks. Of the injuries, isn't it? It's you know that the stuff. Like Pep, Pep is capable of doing this. Pep has been the player that's phased out all the whole entire Man City spine from from Joe Hart to company, to Yaya Toure, to Sergio Aguero. But burn him anyway. It doesn't matter. Man. But big up to Juan Mata. Thank you for the things you've done. I'm hoping that match will be leading too. I'm hoping that a couple of players that he'll let go. And and it makes me sick that when, when they asked him about Dean Henderson and David De Gea, he still said, oh, well, that doesn't mean anything. You know, Dean's tension. Now, listen, just tell them that David De Gea starting you. Yeah? I don't want to hear this, man. Guys, Man of the match, don't give the match for that game because my man of the match was Ahmed for what he done. And don't give the match with Daniel James because he was shit. What about you, Amuk? Tim, Ahmed, he's brilliant. I want to see more in Daniel James. I think he could do better. Only had him up too much and I didn't see nothing. Yeah, and what about you, Ems? Who was your man of the match and also who was your donkey of the match in that game? I agree with both the ones you said. They're my <laughs> I'm adding James. Guys, as you are in the cup, make sure you also su- press that like button and also smash that um, subscribe button as well. I meant to say smash that like button and press that subscribe button, but I said it the wrong way. I can tell that we've got 36 likes so far, 35 people watching. Make sure you guys keep on what smashing those like buttons and make sure you share it out. Guys, I just wanted to know um, quickly... Because we have the Europa League final, this whole goalkeeping situation, which I don't think is supposed to be up for debate. Who do you think will be starting who, or who should be starting? Because I know that he should be starting. For me? Who's, yep, go on, go on, Ems. Go on, Ems. Listen, me, yeah, I'm keeping one on If he wants to stay in the job next season and not get heat, my will start down with the hair, bro. End of story. Yeah, say no more, fam. Because you know me. If we do, and uh, and Amuk, what about you? I'll say they here. They know even no question. That's not. If he's injured, yes. Mm-hmm. But if he's fit, one hundred. Definitely, doubt. definitely. No, it's true, it's true. No, no, definitely, guys. We agree that David Hill here should stop. Now let's move it up to the next part of the show. Of course, we finished the first part. Now we move it up to the other stuff. Which is the weekend roundup? Of course, during the weekend final day of the Premier League season, so we won't be seeing you guys be playing until August again after the Euros 2020. I don't even know what to call it because it technically was Euro 2020, mm-hmm. but now we're in 2021. Are they, did they change the name to Euro 2021, or they're still keeping it as Euro 2020? Because I, I don't know. The way they, the market is I don't 2020. Know, yeah. I the the no, I haven't seen shit. But yes, M, you're saying 2020. Cool, cool. 
So yes, final game of the season. We see our ups doing well. Um, Villa packing in Chelsea two goals to one with Chelsea just making it. You know, if Leicester didn't lose to Tottenham, Chelsea will be in a dilemma where they have to win the Champions League to get into Champions League next season because they would have been out. And then Arsenal would have finished above Tottenham. So Tottenham as well was in a bit of the dilemma. Do we win so that what's it could we can finish above Arsenal again? But they did that. Spurs, of course, as I was saying earlier on, they beat Leicester 4 2, which means that Leicester narrowly missed out on the Champions League, finishing fifth place. Man City smoking Everton five goals to nil with Sergio Guerrero coming on to score two goals to surpass Wayne Rooney's Premier League goals for one club, which is 184 goals for Sergio Guerrero now. He equaled and passed Wayne Rooney just like that. And you know what? He done it in less season than Wayne Rooney. Rooney done it for his whole entire career at Man of his whole entire career. And last but not least, us uh, sorry, Arsenal beating Brighton, Brighton and them man 2 0 with Liverpool spanking Crystal Paris 2 0. Ah, uh, uh, guys, man. Man City, man. Final day, man. No striker, but the striker comes in and scores, man. Winning the league. Of course, champions again. It was I didn't really see the their match because I didn't want to see them win the trophy, man. I mean, they didn't want to see them lift the trophy. I didn't want to see the ceremony. Even when I was watching match a day, I paused it so it can go. <laughs> so I paused it for three minutes just so I can fast forward the whole celebration. You know, because I was watching it live, so I was I had to pause it on the iPlayer. I did not want to see them lift that trophy. Even when they showed the end credit, they, they showed them lifting the lot. I closed my eyes. I'm not going to lie to you. I ain't, I, I, I ain't got time. It's going to hurt me more if they win the Champions League and I see them enjoying it. Because because M showed me something on, on Instagram about the journey of Man City and how they started. And just for them to just plan and organize and get things done, I'm just, I'm just like, I'm pissed off. I'm pissed off. But Man City, guys, winning the Premier League in style. It is what it is, man. What do you guys think about that, man? What do you guys think of all those games, man, in general, before we move it on? I'm going to start. Anyone can just, just let me know. Well, uh, uh, M's go first. Well, listen, Man City was really going to win in South. So, fair enough. They've got their, <laughs> they got their, they got their, um, their win. To a couple of a, a brief season for them, and I mean, you gotta be honest, bro. Man City, Man City gave us a head start, and we still couldn't capitalize, bro. But, um, but yeah, uh, Liverpool done what they had to do, got their win. Uh, what else did I see? Most of the games were dead robbers, didn't it? To be fair, everything else was confirmed, so I really bothered, didn't it? Do you know what I mean, so it was just yeah, like everything was everything was a dead robber, bro. Apart from the race for the top four, but. Obviously, Leicester bottled it, but I wouldn't say Leicester has had a, a bad season because they bottled Champions League. I think with the club side of Leicester, to win an FA Cup and to get fifth, I think that's a great season. When you, when you look back at it, obviously, the position they were in, because apparently they were saying from game game week one to what, game week 36 or something like that, mm -hmm. they were in the top four. or for, Yeah, top four or 37 or something. So to lose it on the last day or the last two, two last two games is obviously is gonna be bad, but they bottled it. But um yeah, I think they still had a great season, man. I mean, they've got the full set before even full set, they've got the Premier League, FA Cup, and now the League Cup. And they've won mm -hmm. two two trophy two trophies in five years. You know, for a club like Leicester, it's great. Um yeah. true, so man, yeah, and Tottenham and Tottenham. You know, they got the Europa League conference. And, um, better, I think better than what Arsenal got. Yeah, yeah, better than Arsenal got. So, yeah, but obviously, uh, Tottenham have got some mad rebuilding to do because they need to get players out of the club and all that, I think. But, yeah, no, all in all, everything was pretty straightforward apart from the race for the top four. And that's about it, I can say, really. And I'm up. How about you? No, I had to watch it lift the trophy. Is on the punishment itself. <laughs> you wanted to punish yourself, yeah? That's a match yeah. night, and we must punish ourselves. We must start spiked. We have to. <laughs> nah, we have to. It's upsetting, but 
to be honest, they deserve it better than they've planned. That's what happens when you prepare yourself. Like they went for they both struggled on themselves. They went for one of the highest one of the best managers or one of the most elite managers in the world to come help concrete what they said. And mm-hmm. yet still it upsets us as a fan that we have to go take someone to come into as a uh, into manager and that person has to say, Aye, that hurts. So for in terms of progression, that it hurts to see them lift the trophy. It hurts to see what didn't do whatever they did. And I'm just happy to see Aguero because in my point of view, he's the best striker I've ever watched play. I know people might say the uh, Brazilian Ronaldo, but for my, my my excuse is I I was a bit young to to, to I watched him play. Oh, no, I watched him play. I, I, no. I, Ronaldo, watched him 98, play. 99. Now watch him play. But I was a bit young. Football, I was young. Yeah. I was young. But Aguero, since he came to the Premier League, I've always put money on Aguero since the signed months he signed it. So you guys gonna do well. And to see what he did, you just you, you just you just you just said it. Oh, like you made something look so easy at the end. Just the last twenty or twenty something seconds, you got a play. You just killed everything. Uh, that's beautiful. Like it hurts as a fan that we, this is not us. We're not experiencing this beautiful moment last week. We're talking about let's talk. When are we gonna talk about us? <laughs> Wednesday, Wednesday. Hopefully, we'll talk about us on Wednesday. <laughs> Bro, I told you something. I told you something. Wednesday, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. we don't win this year. Open league, bro. Hey. We have to. Hey. Like, hey. It's, it, it, hey. it's a hey. must. Hey. It's yes. a must. If we don't win, if we don't win, hey, hey. Someone, this, this, someone's... this, 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 this chat here uh-huh. is going to be volcano, bro. Of carnage. But, but if we do win, I'm not getting two gas because come Saturday, Man City could jump in the league, bro. And that is yeah, like, yeah, out to the field. Yeah, that, that will hurt the most when Man City lift that trophy, um, that Champions League uh, trophy. Um, um, make um, it try to be happy. Try and look for something that makes you happy because where we just said, there's no happiness involved in this. <laughs> for sure. We, we shouldn't be, we shouldn't even be in the Europa League in the first place. And people forget, people and these fans forget it. Forget that. Like for me, we're here. And I don't think I think personally, when we're in the Europa League, all right, cool, celebrate for an hour, but look back and reflect and think, hold on. Your neighbours have won the Premier League. Potentially your neighbours can win the Champions League for the first time. And potentially the, the longer we take to get to the top, yeah, they're gonna we're gonna lose the generation of fans and they're going to be the blue side of city. I'm not talking about yeah. in Manchester. I'm talking about the globe, bro. China, mm-hmm. Asia, yeah. whatever, Africa. Because they're, so they're doing it right now. Yeah, if we're not careful, bro, we're finished, bro. You're not careful, uh, Mook. Your little brother might tell you that, you know what, Bond Man United, man supports Man City, bro. Uh, em- uh, empty uh, hand might be fully had, you know. You never know. It might be full these times. I've got a son. I've got a son. It would be painful because I watch football. I watch mm-hmm. every other team play. It would be painful if my son choose another club. Mm-hmm. That would hurt me. Because I want him to support United. Exactly, that's what we want. But these glazes are making it harder for young for us to get newer and younger fans, you know. But it is what it is. And on that note, guys, what was your game of the week? Because my game, you know what, guys, the one thing I have to say, the one thing I, did, I missed out on Thomas Partey left the party to come to Arsenal where we was locked and he couldn't go clubbing, where his old ends won the league. And he finished ninth. He must feel like shit. No, no, no. Seriously, he must feel like bro. Do God really love me? Like, does God love me? Like, I want your dad told you not to leave, not to leave Atletico Madrid. You know that Arsenal don't play in the Champions League, and with Atletico, you play Champions League every season. You left to come London, not even the good side of London, not even West London. Went to North London, North London, Finsbury Park. 
you know? You know? Ah, I feel for him, you know? Man said he left the party, you know? He couldn't even party this year. He couldn't even go to one rave because it was locked down. He couldn't even enjoy himself. Couldn't even live up to his name. Ah, uh, sad, sad, sad. But guys, game of the week for me, I would have to say, it's got to be Spurs versus Leicester, man. Four go to two. I was feeling full in full. I was feeling the um, what's the name? Harry Kane, man. I even heard on um, the what's it called? The commentators said Harry Kane, and you know the rest. And I'm like, does these guys um listen to um expression? Because expression says Harry Ross Clark. Kane, yeah, goes, Harry, you, Harry know Clark, rest, hey, you know the rest, blah. Yeah. And I heard the message, Harry Kane, and you know the rest. I'm like, you guys are. And then I was watching match there, and you and they were and Declan Rice and Jesse Lingard, you know, was doing the dance, and then Ian Wright had to tell the man them what they were doing. Man was reciting the lyrics, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's I it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, you have to see it for yourself. You have to watch match your day, day. Nah, Ian Wright, man. You know Ian Wright stays in tune. He's, he's so in touch with the time, you know. You can tell. But big up to him, man. But since I say we my young, game of the since week... Since we were young. Since yeah. we were young. We've seen it. My we... game of the week has to go to Spurs versus Leicester. What about you guys? Brad, as bad as it sounds, I don't give it to the neighbours, bro. It's so peak, no. blood. <laughs> but they won 5 new blood. You can't, you can't, you can't, like, 5 new, bro. Fine, no clue sheet, bro. Last day as well. Yeah. Look, what about you, bro? The... Same city. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we it, it's the agreeable thing. It gets no better than that. You win in a trophy and you bring someone's record, and that's your last game. Must be wonderful, like, man. It must be. It helps. It upsets me though. Like mm -hmm. it's just I'm a real fan. I love football. Like, I'm trying not to let my emotions stop me from celebrating this spot called football. So when you see sound good, you go you go represent that. Man City did good. They won by five last, last day. Last day. Mm -hmm. Like, it's nothing. Yeah. Bruh, they that's, that's everyone cool. a head start, bruv. I won the league, bruv. That is just man. We we literally couldn't. We lost the league in was it, it was in January and February where we was top, and then from there we slipped up. And Man City took over. I told man. you, I uh, told you two weeks, three weeks before the date. I told you. Mm -hmm. It is what I'm it sorry is. Man. coming it, from it far. Is, it is what it is, man. Guys, but that's the guys' game of the week, guys. If you're in a cut and you're watching, let us know. If you're watching a playback, let us know what your game of the week was in the comments, and also let us know what you thought of the match against Wolves and also the other game. Moving on to the match preview, our last game of the season, which is the European Euro. I mean, what's European Europa? I'm about to say European Super League. No, nah, no, nah. the Europa League final, bro. Yes, the you final game say. of the season. Against Villarreal, against Unai Emery, and a Europa League specialist in winning. You know, he's a, he's won it three times, you know, with Seville. It's going to be an interesting game. We want to see whether Man United have the corners, the balls, to really win a trophy. Whether the guys can get themselves together, pull themselves together, and, and actually do it and deliver it for Manchester. And also, whether the manager himself has the know-how to go through and see this game through and win it, will he be able to outmanage Unai Emery? And that's where I'm like thinking, nah, he can't, he can't, he can't. But I'm hoping he can. I'm hoping he can. I hope Manchester United will win this game. We are favourites. And um, Villarreal was quite awful in the second leg against Arsenal because Arsenal was unfortunate. Just that they never really created much. So yeah, man. And Villarreal did lose their last game against Real Madrid. I watched. I watched it. Yeah, so I, I don't know, man. I, I, the things I, I want to say, yeah, we're gonna win and all that stuff, but I'm just gonna leave it as it's a final. Like, I will see what happens. That's what a man will say. I will see what happens. Like, but what's you guys? What do you guys think about this game, man? Um, for me, it's not a full gone conclusion, and I say that because maybe because. We have that coach, blam. If we had another coach, maybe I'd, 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 I'd be a bit more sure. But 
Like I, like I said, in this group, yeah. Like I said, like I said here, bro. If you don't win, bro. Bro, <laughs> your your platform. The way I'm going to rant on here, bro. <laughs> the whole, my whole my, my whole street is gonna know, bro. How angry I am. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. bro. If I, yeah, my whole concern is yeah that we're gonna go take things lightly. And then someone's gonna chat some rubbish about ah, oh, because Harry Maguire's not fit, bro. I have to do with him, yeah, the coach, bro. So for me, but I then I, and I say and I also say I don't think lightly because Count Dracula, Una Emery, good evening, that guy there, yeah, good evening. Mm-hmm. He's got he's got he's got he's got, he's got experience winning this trophy. He's a serial Europa League winner, so we can't take them lightly. So me, bro, you told me one 0 blood. I'll take that right now, blood. But um, it's gonna to be tough, guys. It's gonna to be tough. But I think I think yeah, we should we shouldn't play United. We shouldn't play Mac Mac in the middle of the path. We play one of them and Pogba, and then good from there. Rashford's not going to the right, and uh, and if we put Pogba in the centre, we could put Rashford on the left and Greenwood on the right, and then have Cavani up front. That and, and then that that look like more of a team that's trying to win. If we start Fred, then this team to me that we're trying to contain. Why are we containing Villarreal for? Like we're, we're second. They're at seven. They finished seven for six. I believe they have to win this game to get any chance in European football. So, True. so for me, it's gonna be it's gonna be harder harder to play them. I think Emery 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 is technically a better coach than Oli. True. That's what I like to say. No, I hear that, man. I hear that, man. Emery is a technically a better coach than Oli. I don't know, guys, man. I, definitely, we all think that. Can... Go on. Nah, I was gonna say I can I can sense the tension from M's voice when he's talking. Like we're all looking forward to that day, but we're really nervous. Like I'm nervous. Yeah. Yeah. I'm um, nervous. Like I can't lie. I'm really nervous. Hoping to uh, to lose that day. Uh, it, it is what it is, man. It is a final. It's normal for everyone to feel nervous. To be honest with you guys, you, we, why wouldn't we be? It's, it's a first final under because our manager. We want to see the manager saving power. Mm-hmm. We, I want to see that. People might think see. I'm anti Oli, Oli, whatever, mm-hmm. but I haven't seen anything based on the club itself that make me like Oli to miss my club. So, because in in reference, um, Van Gogh spent two years. He won a trophy. Mourinho spent the same amount of years as. Oli, he won us two trophies. So, True that. I want Oli to win something. Yeah, we I want, want to see that. Yeah, definitely, definitely. We want to see Oli win something to prove, prove us wrong, prove me wrong. I want. I, listen, guys, need to understand that you're watching that. As much as I'm Oli out and I don't, I am Oli out. Even if he wins the trophy or not, I want him to prove me wrong. So when I wake up yeah. in the morning, I'll be like, raw. You know, I was wrong about this guy. You know, I, I want to be proved. I don't want to be right. I me being right means that we lose games and we lose the final and we'll never be happy. I want to be happy. You guys want to be happy. You want my man to prove us wrong and be like, "Raw, Oli's sick," you know. Now, I'm sorry, Oli. You even end up writing him a personal apology. Let us send it to, to, to directly to Manchester United. Special delivery, signed for, and everything, you know. Just so you know that he received it himself, you know. Just so you know that you're really sorry. That like, you wanted to know that it came from you, like. <laughs> No, nah, honestly speaking, guys, let's look at the starting lineup, man. Who do you think will be starting on that game? Or who would you like to see start? Um, I, I will, I, I'll, I'll go and I'm not going to go. No, we can all go no, together. Anyway. Now, now, I was going to say, yeah, I, one person I want to see start that game is Hamad. Hmm? Who? I want to see Hamad start. Hamad. No, I'm at Diallo. Oh, you want to see him start? I want to see him start. Why? Sure. Now, I want to see him start. I, there's something about this case that I just know it's special. Mm, mm, but my worry is, it's only going to flourish this kid first. No, there's no, something no. about that kid. There's something about that kid. He's special. It is special. So, in goal, we definitely know that we're not going to debate on this one. <laughs> DDG! M, DDG! M, 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 M's gone! M's gone! I was just going to say, that's one person I would love to see play the final. Uh, 
I would say, I would say, yeah, I, I'm gonna go for. I, I'm gonna pick Ollie's team because I know what's gonna happen. Right? I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna say if I'm wrong, if I'm wrong. No, no, definitely, you're not wrong. You're this, not wrong. wrong. Ollie, this is Ollie's team. Yeah? I'm gonna tell you. The only thing I might get wrong is uh, who plays with Lindelof at the back. But ah, uh, mm-hmm. so David de Gea, Juan Basaka, mm-hmm. Lindo. I think he's gonna go for a baby for some reason. Left back Luke Shaw. Then obviously the two the two number sixes, Matt Fred, mm-hmm. Pope on the left, Rashford on the right, Bruno number ten, and Cavani up front. That's what I think Oli's gonna go with. But for me, I would go for David Ingo, the back four, still how it is. Maybe I'm not sure, but maybe I but I don't know. By your twin baby, then I would have mm-hmm. Pogba and Fred, and then a left would be Rashi, the mm-hmm. right would be Greenwood, mm-hmm. and then Bruno number 10, and then Cavani up front. Funny. I would go for that any day, but we know that McFred would be playing. Well, the interesting thing is that who will start in centre back, which is more the debate. Which is Eric Bailly or Twan said that. I, I think everybody would be more suitable because as much as Twan's TV is good, I still don't think it's mm. ready. I still don't think mm. it's ready. And another one needs to be like, because obviously we've seen things with him during this, and I don't need to start that day and things turn that bad and he's going to get it again. And mm-hmm. for me, Bailly is used to it. Bailly is probably it. For me, if I yeah. would buy it. I hear that. That's the only... And guys, I want to ask you a question, guys. Of course, you know that it's Oli. Oli is got in the final. So if Oli fails to win this Europa yeah. League, meaning that all we done is finish second, what does this mean for Oli? Should mean the club? For, should the club? Should the club stay with him or be like, you know what? Because that's the first season now, no trophy. You ain't good enough. The club will tell. The, but the I know the club. club they'll stick with him because they're already promoting for. They're twerking for him on Instagram. You know. You know, as I was saying. Yeah, and the boys, people twerking. The boys been to... doing the same thing. Mm-hmm. Like the pundits, they've been doing the same thing. They're twerking, why twerking, 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 twerking. They're saying that oh, Lolly's done well. All right, he's they done well. Cool. They, that they see. Too there. But, but the thing about it is that they can see where Oli's done well. I you know. I'll be honest with you. I can admit, I, 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 as much as I, I'm a hater, I can admit that there's things he's done well. That's all I can say. Yeah, of course. Of there's course, things. Of course. We all can admit that there's things he's done yeah, well. Yeah, not, every, not everything's being negative. But, but what, everything um, ends with achievement. Mm-hmm. What's the achievement mm-hmm. for the club? The thing is, though, what? Pardon? What has he no, achieved for the club? Nothing. What has he achieved for the club? Because everything you do, every work you put in, it comes with a reward. What yeah. have these people done for him? What are they saying? Because he's got given some more years with these last two managers. But he hasn't seen anything. That's that's my that's something that I can't pass with. If this if we get to the next season before the Europa, there must be something wrong with he ever owns Manchester United or the board or whatever is going on. Them people they need praise. Remember I told you last year. So I will personally offer myself to go to Old Trafford and pray to that stadium. I'll do the same for this. Mm. Why? Guys, I just want to get your prediction as we're almost near the hour. Um, do you guys have any predictions? You know me, I don't have a prediction. I'm just going to wait on Wednesday and see how it goes. I, I'm going for a... Please don't hit me. I'm going to go... If I pick, if there's a team I go for, I'm mm-hmm. going for a 3-1 United win. If I go for the team Oli's gonna go for, mm-hmm. I could be a two a two one United win. Cool. And you are Wook? I'll go for two one. Yeah, two one. Win Guys two, one. are hoping that we win two one. Yeah. Uh, me too. Me my heart. Yep. Guys, we come to the last part of the show as you're watching. We'd like to thank you as always, which is question time. And of course, today, guys, today's question is going to be like this. It goes like this. Rank these goalkeepers who flopped at United, one being the worst and third being the least worst, yeah? 
We've got Fabian Bartes. We've got Roy Carroll and Tim Howard, who failed to, to see that match United after Peter Schmeichel's. These are the keepers that Manchester United bought before we got Van Nussel. I write these from, I says, well, first is the absolute worst. Obviously, third is the least worst. So we start from third to first. So I'm going to go first to set the mood. In third place, as the least worst, I'm going to have to go for Fabian Bartes coming third place. Although there were goals that we conceded where I thought, oh, because he's sure. And the goal that he conceded against Arsenal for, or Henri done to him, it's still in my mind. And I can still see that. Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Oh. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, you know what? Fabian Martez came with a big name after winning the World Cup, and we thought, yes, that would be the guy that replaced Michaels. It unfortunately, it really never happened for him, but he had his good times. He had his good times. Second place has to go to Tim Howard. Tim Howard had a brilliant first season, especially the start of his career at Manchester United, and then his wife left him, and then from there, my men went a war. So I'm making mistakes. Your man wasn't there, and etc. And then Atis got sold and got, went to um, Everton. But the worst goalkeeper that done this, grabbed the ball, hit the line, went in, and he was like, oh, scoop it back out. <laughs> Has to go to Ray Carroll as to being the biggest flop of all those goalkeepers, man. Biggest flop. Man, that goal that against from Tottenham. You, you guys don't, I don't think you guys remember this. I remember that goal. I remember that. You remember that. But, but, but the goal, the goal that never stood. It never stood, though. They, they got rid of it. But even though you know it went past that line and he scooped it back. That's what it is, man. Um, Who'd like to go next? Next. Me? Go yeah. on. Bro, I think it's all going on based on reputation. I think, I think, I think the worst. I think Barton's got to be the worst, blood. And I say that because man can't go whose reputation. I never fulfilled it. Man tripping, passing the ball to Henri and this is in the same tripping. I know they I know they played for France together, but like yo, you're 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 Arsenal, you're United. So I I saw a lot more errors for Barton than I did under the other two. So I'm going for Fabian Barton due to the fact of his reputation, a World Cup winner, and man just was not the answer. Man was too small. Man was too small to be playing being our number one goalkeeper. Like, well, he's just under six foot, bro. He's that shorter than Lloris, bro. Like, come on, man. That's why I went on with that flick, bro. Like, that flick. Like, that's just ridiculous. But anyway, so I'll go for him. Uh, Tim Howard, man. Coming, coming, towards, coming towards the end, Howard was making a bare mistake. So I'm putting him in the middle. Se- second, I think. That is, yeah, second. The I think Ray Carroll. I can only remember I can only remember one mistake, and that was that one that they taught them. <laughs> so I'm gonna put him, I'm gonna put him, in my opinion, the best out of that three. In my opinion. <laughs> the biggest flop. Uh, but, uh, what about you, bro? Football, football is funny, you know. I'm just saying listening to you guys and say football is so funny. Now you see why people argue too much. Man says somewhat different from you guys, you know? Go on then. Math. My my third one would be um, um Tim Howard because I liked him. Mm-hmm. I think he was mm-hmm. brilliant before he lost mm-hmm. before he, he, he had that relationship situation. But he was really good. Even as the keeper in Everton, he, was, he became some that like, he carried Everton for a hot set. So for me, yeah, he's, yeah. He, and second goal go to bad test just because of having times with him, but. When I was getting older, I saw a few things I didn't like. That Ronaldo thing hurt. It was Champions League. In movie Young we didn't mess around Champions League. It hurt. <laughs> and Carvalho would be the worst. Just made me upset. You remember when we used to watch football, a uh, back shot straight. Mm-hmm. The stress that we went through, watching that keeper there. <laughs> nah, it's going to be worse. Ray Carroll, man. No, Ray Carroll, man. That's been no. Be Ray Carroll has topped every single one. Big up to Oli Gunnar Solskjaer, who just put in a comment saying that, Hi, guys. No pressure, but I'm watching with Kareke and Mikey. 
you better not disappoint us. And he also said, are you interested in taking Phil Jones on this channel? I'm willing to accept a low offer as no football club wants him. Bro, you, you couldn't even get Phil Jones for a packet of crisp, you know? You know, people won't even give you their pack. You can be like, yo, give me your packet of crisps and I'll give you Phil Jones because I'm hungry, bro. The man will be like, you know what? I don't I don't want Phil Jones. I'm not going to give you my crisps because I feel like my crisps is more valuable than Jones. You get me? We don't, we don't, we don't, we don't want no Jones on this channel, you know? Jones might be the reason why I, I sort of I end up having zero subscribers, you know, from 2,000 to zero subscribers, you know, at the end of the day. Are they going to show? Are they going to show? Make sure you smash the like button. Also, you make sure you, you subscribe to the channel as well and share to get people Man, to like watch. Oli, no. Get me. Ali Gunner Social. And as we have come to the end, Ali Gunner Social, you came a bit too late, just like your substitutions, you know, coming late. <laughs> Yes, uh, yes, yes Oli, 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 you better not disappoint us on Wednesday, Oli. But yes, we have come to the end of the show. We would like to thank you for watching. Big ups to you guys as well for always supporting and watching. Uh, as always, I like to just plug the guys in so you can let the, so they can let you know where you can find them. We're gonna start off with our mook and then M's. Um, always that Instagram brave like a underscore 16 and M's on the on the out ground, here talking dude. to Bay and that texting Bay and that and see smiles <laughs> I see the blush um uh, it's um oh, don't, don't see, I got it I got it more <laughs> M M's dot W dot Doms mate that's it <laughs> <laughs> struggle there you know like I threw him off there I'm sorry about that bro but yes guys yeah, you can find me of course, here every Monday at 8 p.m. And of course, Friday nights, you know, because I'm feeling all right. The party's all over the West Side. In, no, well, the party's all over in Reggie Night TV, you know. <laughs> me in it on a Friday <laughs> night. No, no. Enzo's there on that Friday night, you know. But yes, guys, you'll find me on Friday 9 p.m. you also find me on Thursdays around 6 o'clock on the Bits and Bobs, the United Podcast. And this Wednesday, you shall find me exclusively live after the European, the Europa League final, of course, the live match reaction for you guys. Special one. I'll see how it goes. You know, you never know. I could have a live match reaction all the time to make my life easy. But then again, I love editing and doing my thing. So I don't know if I will change that, guys. And last but not least, remember to follow my official Instagram account, of which is Red United. I mean, which is I've run on the school spice. Same across the Twitter, and also the Snapchat. Remember to follow the official Instagram account of Ready Night TV, which is Ready Night TV 1. And also remember to follow the official TikTok account of Ready Night TV, which is Ready Night TV. And as always, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and remember to share. And last but not least, my favorite people, my favorite people, my favorite gender, my favorite gender, my ladies now, my ladies. <laughs> as always, Remember to share the link to your ex-boyfriends, all your ex-boyfriends in this world. And also remember to share the link to your current boyfriend. And also remember to share the link to that dickhead that always buys you lunch at work. For day in, day out, hoping to get some, but you know he wants some. And you're there laughing at him each time you take a bite. You're never going to get some of this. You get me? And also remember to share to the guy that's been trying to move to you at the bus stop for the longest Asking you for your number, you've told him numerous times that I've got a man. He's looked at you because he's hurting so much. He said, your butt is anyway. I don't even want your number. Remember to share to the also the other guy that tried to move to you at the train station. You've told him that you've got a man. He's like, but we can be friends, though. But we can be friends, though. Like, never going to happen, and you're never going to get any. And last but not least, remember to share to your dad's friends that's not really your uncle. I'd be looking at you now that you're 18. If you, you carry big breasts and oh carry big bum, and then telling you, my oh my, you have grown like like a hair that like they want to have some of you. And when you share that nick and they ask you, and he asks you, what is this? Tell them you found a man that can do way better than you. And that's how I go respite as usual. Guys, remember to keep it united. Definitely this Wednesday. And also remember to keep it red united and stay tuned. As always, peace out for me from Amok and also from Ems. We see you next week.